Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 587. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Hey yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Hey, yo. Welcome guys. Welcome listeners and viewers. We're on Twitch Tuesday nights. Nine o'clock at this point. We did our bo- our bonus round of the Batman, so check that out, guys. Uh we do that every Tuesday nights, starting at eight o'clock. We do uh, not bonus run every every time, but we do mo- movie cast and game cast. So tune in, please. We're live. Uh, YouTube the following day if you don't catch us live. So go check that out. Uh, this is five eighty seven, and we can talk about the box office real quick, which I believe Batman was number one mm-hmm. yet again. Yeah, um, yeah. and it did uh, sixty six million, if I remember right. Nice. Right, it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, it had a... 50 something. Hang on. 50 something percent? Yeah. Where's my list? This whew, this list is just not great. Sorry. Yeah, it had a 55% drop, I think, which is not bad. Um, it Pretty good legs uh, for it. Uh, it. It's projected to do pretty well. Believe it or not, this is the weirdest part about this this bat, the Batman movie. It's doing better domestically than internationally. Okay. And that's usually not the, the way it works. So, wait, wait, say that again? It's doing uh, better domestically than international? Domestic box office is bigger than the international box office. Yeah, well, I mean, I would say Batman's a bigger the character sense, domestically than internationally. Yeah, I mean, I mean yes, again, we have, to, we have to, we have to, we have to, I mean, no, he has global appeal. I'm just, I'm just saying, I think his domestic is stronger in slightly I stronger. I think like, some, some other countries people. are having problems right now, too. Some countries no, are true. having some countries are yeah. having problems, but I would say that the franchise has been kind of dormant for what since Batman yeah. v Superman. I mean, uh, the rest of the box office was shit. Oh, so, yeah, uh, but I mean, like, like what, death the drop the from sixty six and a half to nine point three. Yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, it, it, good for it either way. Uh, internationally, we'll see if it picks up. With like you said, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now, so. Especially over in Europe, and you know, you figure China's, China's market. Down again. Yeah, China. Yes, China's market. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff happening that are affecting their box offices. So, uh, very impressive, though. But guys, let's get into what we've been up to, uh, and I can lead us off. Uh, I, I decided we have a little family movie movie night here. Uh, a, a little movie on Disney Plus came out called Turning Red. Nice. I uh, seen so that I got to week. watch that. It's not for me, um, but it's a good pixar movie before i say that like i don't want people yelling at me yeah it's a pixar movie but it's very directed and again i've read comments that people get pissed if you say that uh but it is my nine-year-old who's turning 10 soon loves this movie it's like about a 13 year old 13 year old girl coming of age yeah uh and for me it it didn't it for me it didn't have enough of the adult mix to make it like really good like you know how you have that mix where you can kind of it, it, listen oh, there's some yeah. cool stuff in this there's fun stuff in this uh that she's drawing like mermaid anime men of guys of boys that she likes you know just stuff like that i, I don't want to talk too much about it because tony you haven't seen it yet and there's a lot even probably a lot of people haven't yet but uh for me it wasn't a complete success uh <laughs> it was fine there's nothing wrong with it like i put it on coco level which is there's nothing wrong with those movies i oh. like them i just what? Coco, man, Coco is fantastic. What are you talking about? I never thought Coco was that. Good. I didn't. It didn't resonate with me. It just didn't. Oh, it's Coco, it. the dinosaur one. No, that was the no, um the the the, oh, the, the, the dead movie, that. the dead movie. Oh, I never watched another it. one of those. Yeah, um, I actually liked. I like Sing, and I like. Obviously, I loved Encanto. Was it Encanto's not Pixar? Uh, Sing wasn't Pixar, and I love that movie. Um, but. Uh, well, kind of like you talk, why would you compare Sing and Encanto? I, I brought up because they both have singing, first, but it's not. Yes, but it's not Pixar. Uh, Pixar movies. Sing was well, Sing a Pixar not... movie. It wasn't it? Sing? No, yeah, it was Illumination. It? Sing is not yeah, Sing. Are you saying Soul? Soul. Do you soul. mean Soul? Sorry, yes. Soul. Um, okay. Soul. Okay, like, I like. Talking about, like these are the minion people. Yeah, I'm sorry. I watched too many movies. Chris, in the Chris Pratt doing uh, some Mario thing. The soul. See, the thing soul. with me, all of this is interchangeable to me. I, I'm not watching that stuff. <laughs> it's I mean, not you for you, Mike. Like, you won't like it. You will be, Mike. You will be. Again, you will be. Your boy uh, is going to be. Yeah, you know, it's about a thirteen-year-old girl who can turn into a red panda. So, yeah. and her her having to deal with that. So, um, I, I like I said, not not great for me, but I tell you that for a fact that uh, my nine-year-old uh, is watching it nonstop. She loved it. 
Cool. So if you have kids at home that are that about around that age, they're probably going to love that's that. That's who movie. it's uh, focused for. Yeah. Yes, girls. You, you know, what? my kid likes watching ceiling fans so far. Yeah, yeah, you're old. a little bit young yet, but <laughs> uh, and most and and the the girl demographic, which is great because there's not a lot of like these large scale movies that is really complete target for them to enjoy. Like really, like because you try to encompass everybody, and it's like, and sometimes you don't encompass enough. You know what I mean? Because you try to do that. So this is like. I understand why it exists and I respect it. Just, it just wasn't great for me. That's all. And not that it was bad. It was fine. But, uh, and then I watched Picard. Uh, Picard, uh, I absolutely love this show and I talked about it last year. Um, this is one of the best Star Trek shows I've ever seen in my life. It's uh, just, The Next Generation was one of my favorite shows, obviously, back in the day. Uh, and they have enough of the retread, like the sprinkling of the Easter eggs and the cameos that it makes me love that plus the new stuff and the dr dramatic approach the overall stuff of it i just love it so it's a very good show on on uh, paramount plus um so enjoying that can't wait for halo actually even though i've heard some mixed stuff about it uh, i'll be checking that out this uh next week so, Anna, what'd you do yeah uh we'll see we'll see about they I'm, I'm i'm giving it a shot i have i've got paramount plus i might as well watch it or uh, but that's that's pretty much of the of note things to talk about. That's pretty much it for me. Um, Corey, anything? Well, speaking of Paramount Plus, I, I watched Screen, the new one. Oh yeah, I saw it on it's there. On there, yeah, mm. yeah. And it's like I was so funny because they're making fun of the fact that you get all these remakes and like retreads. Didn't and... they do that already? I mean, that's what Screen. That, that was the Matrix. <laughs> no, but <laughs> Scream I thought did that. I thought Scream did that already. That's, well. So like, I mean, they talk like they they they, they it's a commentary on themselves and horror movies, and it's just it it just didn't like Scream the Four stuff. have the movie in the theaters or something like that? Yeah, all, the, all of them did. Like the, the sequels, the sequels. Oh, the, all the sequels did. Okay, they made it, like so they were like they made fun of that. Like that was what they did. Yeah, so, the whole thing. But, yeah, every everyone's yeah. about that. Um, but yeah, so like that didn't like, that didn't work for me. I just didn't think yeah. that like fit. I thought it was interesting. They um. I am going to spoil something here because I don't think Go you ahead. guys care. Nope. Um, not at all. They bring back Billy Loomis in this, which is uh, oh my god, interesting. And they yeah yeah they tie they they tie it all back to the original Scream in a way that is kind of interesting, but like it didn't need to happen. And mm -hmm. I, I don't remember know. what it's... happens in those movies. The only thing I I have experience of Scream in the past decade is uh, the killer being a uh, a killer in Dead by Daylight. Oh, oh, oh. That and that, that is actually well happen. implemented because um, his ability is uh, if you stalk people, um, like you, you get powered up and stuff like that, and you can like instant down people and stuff like that. So it's pretty it's pretty cool. But Yeah, so Scream is, yeah, it was just okay. It, I think actually I liked 4 better than this one. Oh, God. But, I, don't, uh, yeah. I don't know even know if I saw 4. Probably not, because they, they don't really matter after a while. Because they just, yeah. they just. I didn't like three, so I don't think I saw four. Yeah, yeah I three think it was terrible. I didn't see four. I know I didn't see four because no, three. My my experience with the franchise is seeing like a vague recollection of seeing one and two on TV wait, a couple wait, times. Wait, wait, wait. How many screens were numbered, and then how many have been non-numbered? Is it screen four, four was not screen? numbered? Wasn't four well, not numbered? Screen, there's screen two. Uh, there's scream, scream two, scream three, scream four, and then scream. There's not no one way. other. I thought, I thought there was, was like. Numbered. I thought there was another was one numbered. that was not numbered, like Scream Four oh, ever or something. Oh, okay. No, Scream Four has the, the A as a four. Oh, okay. The A. <laughs> yes. ah, okay. 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 <laughs> Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's Scream. Uh, which I would say, like, I really did enjoy the first. Like, the first Scream was like, like amazing. And like the commentary on itself and mm -hmm. horror movies yeah. in general, and then they try to do it again, and it just doesn't like doesn't feel right. Yeah, know, like, first scream is the best. I mean, I, I think I still like scream two because they twisted it up a little bit, but after that it was just kind of whatever. Mm -hmm. And then what was it? I know what you did last time. That was so fucking stupid. Yeah, I mean, they everybody was trying to do these different these these uh, horror films. But um, besides scream, I also watched the Adam Project on Netflix. Oh, how was it? And that was good. Um, I really liked the the time travel aspect that they the. the they, they do in this and um the actors it's interesting they got Rowdy reynolds they got uh mark ruffalo they got Z uh Z what's her name got gamora they got gamora in this and uh um, so we sell donna that's yeah. it i, I want to say zoe kravitz is the only thing that comes to mind so i was like i'm not even gonna bother 
<laughs> um, so then uh, I liked, like I said, I liked the um, the time travel and how they play time travel in this movie. So I'd, I'd say it's a good, it's a good streaming movie. And not, cool. not, um, I don't think it would have been very successful in the theater, to be honest. But on Netflix, it's good. Cool. And then awesome. lastly, I watched was uh, season two of Upload, I think. Oh, how is it? I haven't watched it yet. I saw it on my queue. It's like was seven episodes or something like that right now. Yeah. So far, it's pretty good. It's 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 still I I like the concept, so I think it's a, a neat idea and uh, mm-hmm. it's fun. So I'd recommend it. If you're cool. looking for something. I always like I liked the first season, so I thought it was fun. Yeah. You know, it's, like it's interesting. It's seven, I think seven episodes right now. So yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Tony. Uh, watched caught up with more uh, ranking of kings. It's uh, approaching the ending. I think it's only got That's two or three. Bad. Yeah, it's so good. It like it uh, is. It just throws conventions out the window in terms of like what you're expecting yeah. out of like a shonen type. Because I'm, I'm I'm even hesitant to call it a shonen because like on the surface level you're like yeah it has a young male protagonist who's got to be the best. Insert whatever thing is important in that world. Um, but mm-hmm. everything about it is just done so differently and well executed. It like really just every time you're like, oh, now this is gonna happen. It's like 99 percent of the time, it's like, yeah, nothing. No, nah, it's not gonna happen. Something like that. So um, yeah. it's really good, and I highly recommend that. Oh, what, do you know what? Um, what's it called in Japanese or Osama like... or O Os? I forget. You just look. Yeah. Look yeah, up ranking of king. Okay. All right. I'll link it to you. All right. Mike. Oh, here it is. Well, the only thing that I watched this week is I got to uh, see the Batman, which is why we have a spoiler cast this week also. Correct. Um, <clears throat> and just to summarize, I, I really liked it. It's like an 8.5. It probably would have been a 9.95 if I had never seen um, Dark Knight or Batman Begins before. So, but, you know, still, I really liked it. Ooh. Would you oh, put yeah. Batman Begins over this movie then? Bacon, you do a Batman I have to. I have to right. sort of marinate a little bit. I feel like it's when did you around watch it? there. Batman Begins. No, oh, the Batman. The, the, did you see it? The <laughs> Batman I saw um, over the weekend. Sunday. So like okay. two, three days. So ago. I'll check in next week. I'm gonna check in next week and see how you feel. Okay. Maybe we should just have a <laughs> special episode for. Ranking Batman movies. Marination. Ranking Batmans. Ooh, that's a topic. Ranking Batmans. Okay. Maybe we should give it two weeks just to be safe. Oh, but, God. Um, well, I, I'd regret saying it. Anyway. It's further for us then, but uh, yeah. Interesting though, right? I mean, so you did you, you liked it overall, but it was you're not sure where you rank it yet. Yeah, I don't think, like I said, it's I liked, there's very little I didn't like about the movie. It's just, there's also nothing like, completely floored me about it it didn't wasn't mm-hmm. any game changer stuff yeah, I thought it was a great the thing that i i would defend with this movie is it's a great franchise start movie like it's a perfect like forget like batman against forget these other movies existed because this is the new this is a new franchise i mean new batman. And again and if i could forget those movies existed i probably would have put this a but, little like, higher i i would rank this higher than batman begins myself um but i would not put it above dark knight but that's okay. I don't remember anything about movie. Batman Begins other than the ending. Batman Begins was just such a big deal. I rem- well, it might also have hit me at the right time. I was like high school age, and it was like the Very first Bat- Batman I mean, I would... that like came out I... since you know Batman I mean, and Robin, I mean... which was a, a disaster. So Batman, and then that that was again. I swear that movie led to the whole like gritty realism. thing like revolution that has happened since then that like i think spilled into bond and other stuff as well uh where let's make this realistic let's make this you know batman be like a horror horror thing that happens to the villains let's make it psychological focused let's talk about you know let's focus on his like code of honor and stuff like that or and how he you know and, and it's an origin as well so um that was a big deal then and that you know it set the tone at least for dark knight and then they did some other stuff with rises but um i don't feel like this is like a big revolution in batman storytelling like that was but i don't think you can have a revolution in batman storytelling not anymore no that's what i mean so (laughs) i mean (laughs) 
But that, it, that's what it's not gonna it's not gonna rank it's not gonna impact as much to me as that movie did just because we've right, sort we're of we're not talking about recently. impact though. we're talking it's about is it good yeah. yeah but that's that's it. always a part of it though yeah yeah, yeah. For sure it so, is but I can I can objectively that. watch Spider Man one and I've even said like Spider Man one has not aged well love Spider Man one I, when I, I was younger yeah, I, I, like, I like on TV I like I like Spider Man one a little more than Spider Man two yeah. Because I, I I don't like the whole web tile dysfunction plot line of Spider Man <laughs> Two. I think it's silly. I love Spider Man Two. That was on TV the other day. I just sat there and watched it. Mm-hmm. It was on. Yeah. I, I have it, the movie. I just watched it on TV. Mm. Um, but yeah. All right. Anyways, let's get into some news, guys. Um, we've got some quick bit. Did you guys see the Sonic Two poster? I mean, obviously you guys did. Uh, I posted it. it so yes, it. I saw it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, great. Love it. Homage to. Uh, do I have that over here? The video I game. Do. Yeah, Sonic 2, the video game. Uh, Mike's got the game. And the car, and the, and the box for it? Genesis game. Oh, yeah. There I have is. it right here. It looks just like this. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> so their, their movie poster looks, yeah, very much like that. Uh, which not is really not well quite done. just like that, but similar. It's got, you know, yeah, the hand. Very much. 95% the same, yeah. 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 Very, very well done. Uh, I, I think that was cool. I can't wait. This movie, I'm excited for this movie. Uh-oh. Somebody leave? Corey? Corey. Corey I thought it was Craigbot. Yeah. I thought it was Craigbot kicking us. Uh, it's just Corey leaving. But anyways, so interesting news for that. Uh, looking forward to that movie. What else we have here? Warner Brothers re- like moved release dates like crazy last week. Um, cool. Yeah, so what do we have here? Black Adam moved to... Everything moved. moved. Everything. They, were, they were marketing. They were, they were marketing... You're really messing with me here. Uh, they were marketing the uh, movies already, like The Flash, uh, yeah. Shazam, uh, was getting reviews. Like, I mean, it was getting trailers. So, like, Fear of the Gods, Shazam, is December 16th of this year. Not anymore. It's June 2nd. You a trailer for these movies in front of the Batman? Yeah. Shazam, I believe. Yeah, they, they even did, like, the, well, whole, like, the whole, like, thing. year, like, There's DC whole, year yeah. of, like, yeah. This yeah. is the year of DC, yes. They did that in the beginning of the movie. You're right. Yeah, uh, I, I, missed, the, I missed that. I had to go to the bathroom. The Flash was November 4th. Now it's June 23rd. So they have Shazam June 2nd, and then The Flash June 23rd? No, Shazam is in November now or something. They moved up. It's this year. Oh, they moved it up. Oh. oh, no, I'm thinking, okay, Black Adam. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of Black Adam. Well, Black Adam, they pushed back to, like, October or something. Yes. Uh, that's October. That's what it is. October 21 from July 29th. Shazam moved up from December from June 2nd to December 16th. Then they moved oh, the Flash back to that point to J- June 23rd. Mm-hmm. Aquaman went from December 16th to March 17th of next year. Apparently, uh, um, one of the Shazam this DC... characters spoiled something pretty big in Shazam. On oh really? Media. Yeah, she like posted saying something, and oh. like it was like just like a little hint thing, but it was kind of dumb. To do. Yeah, I mean they were. I just I'm saw just a trailer sure. for the League of Pets, League of Super Pets, and that's from May 20th to <laughs> July 29th now. Yep, it's another one. So that's funny that even that's getting delayed. Yeah. But uh, it's rough for me because to me, Flash was one of the most interesting things that could have happened going forward. Like, cool, yeah. I kind of don't. I mean, that's I, the thing when they said they were moving this back, it's like, uh, are they changing some of the story here? That's what I'm wondering. Are they doing yeah, some reshoots? Do uh, there's time? there's rumors already. I, I'm not. I'm not even going to speak them out loud because I don't believe that don't they're work. real enough. No, no. I, I would love it if Cavill Superman shows up and now, no. but I don't believe that that's true. No. But th- that's out there in the universe right now as one of the reasons why it's delayed. No, Snyder fans are just desperate and grasping at straws. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we know that Ben Affleck is. No, did you, did you they made see, a whole movie happen? Did you guys, did you guys see Snyder fans are like even attacking? A whole um, six-hour movie happened because of they're, that. They're talking. Uh, they're harassing um, James Gunn online because uh, James Gunn commented about Batman's Batman's perform the Batman's performance, and yeah. they took it as like, oh well, because he publicly said something about the Batman and his performance, and he never said anything about Justice League. Then therefore, he hates Zack Snyder, and like we're trying to like come at him. It's like. Jesus Christ. Sorry. It's a cult. Oh, I mean, the, I think those are fringe. Those are the same people who follow Riddler on Twitch. So <laughs> uh, yeah. I wouldn't worry about uh, them too much. 
I'm not worried about them. I'm just I think it's hilarious that it's. Like, I, I don't just, think I don't think that necessarily games. means the whole people who like you know the Snyderverse are like that. Most of them, yeah. Say so, now. Nah. I would uh, know. So. My brother's not like that, but he still loves the Snyderverse over the the Batman yeah, movie. There, but, I mean, other yeah. than Batman and Superman, like all these other characters are going strong in this universe. Yeah, are they? Wonder Woman. And, well, I mean, they're not they're not abandoning them like. We, we all, all yeah. this, you, this, I don't know about going is, strong now. This little thing. Yeah. I mean, they're yeah. going stronger now than they were. Like I, mean, I would say, we got there's more hope for them. coming. No one, no one cares that Aquaman two is coming. I feel like it's coming. I'm, people liked it enough, but at this point, everyone's just like, Aquaman did a billion I, I mean, dollars. I do think the Snyder cut did a good thing for these. I know, these characters. but it, it I don't think anyone is to, looking forward to Aquaman two. <laughs> I, oh it's I mean, not got a lot of hype right now, but as it gets closer, it might. And we don't know when closer is because it keeps getting everything keeps getting moved. Yeah, yeah. So. The reality is, right. I, or the most probable thing I've heard is that um, the special effects studios are just um, backed up behind. And it could yeah, be. That's... That could very well very... be. Yeah. So could very well be. Uh, Disney Plus released a trailer for Ms. Marvel today. Today? Yeah, it was today. Yep. Uh, didn't watch and it. And released it. I didn't watch it yet either. But uh, the I don't watch it. June, right? <laughs> It's June. June, right? I know I'm gonna watch yeah, it. So I'm, I know I'm gonna watch it. So it's no point. Is a Kenobi? Uh, Kenobi's May. Oh, it's May. Oh. I think I'm pretty certain it's May. Yes. Yeah, it's like Disney doesn't have the content to release multiple things on the same day like that. At least. Yeah, it's, yeah I mean, it's gonna be. They're gonna overlap though. So it's. it's they are gonna. No, overlap, it's gonna overlap, but like they're not gonna debut two new series at the same. No, time. I was, well, is it, I was like, wait, is that? Isn't Kenobi gonna be like four episodes anyway? Six. It's gonna be six. Super short, I think. Yeah, it's six, so they overlap. Yeah, no, two. I, I watched the trailer. I thought it was pretty good. Like uh, the acting, they got was good. It's interesting. Oh. Um, it reminds me a little they bit of Scott. Changed the character. Yeah, they changed the character, right? In this. What did you say? So she's got in this. Sorry, go on. The yeah. the the look of it reminds me of Scott Pilgrim. Oh, that's where good. Where like you got what? animation on the screen. Wow. Like, cause like there's like thought bubbles coming out. Um, and when people oh, are talking, sometimes that's cool. there's like comic book like things. Yeah. Like, that come out make it more common like yeah, yeah she looks at somebody and they've got like devil horns drawn on her head like which is, yeah. mm -hmm. cool so yeah, she doesn't have her stretchy a little bit she doesn't have her stretchy abilities she does oh about? i heard she didn't so this is why you can't believe everything you read on the internet <laughs> so uh there's people like upset about it and i'm like okay i guess she doesn't have it i'm like i don't care i'm like as long as her character's fun and, and entertaining i don't care I mean, the thing is she's got more powers than just the stretchy power i don't understand like yeah but so like um yeah they just they display some other powers that she has and then i think the, the origin of these powers what? can be different than what they are in the comics what other the powers comics, does she have uh they, well so she's got she's got different abilities where she can kind of cr create stuff and things like that but i don't really because it's you just know about like the stretchy powers that's all you really know about and and she here they're shift. making she's that shapeshifter isn't she Kind of, not really. Like, she, I don't think she can like change into other people. I thought she was. I thought she was. She, she, everything I know about this character, honestly, is She's from Fantastic. the Avengers game, which oh, yeah. followed her pretty closely. So to me, That's yeah, she true. can stretch and make herself bigger. Pretty much is all right. she could do. I read. Uh, it, so no, I read the comics. Like I read the first few comics. I feel like she took the identity of Ms. Marvel, uh, Captain well, Marvel, at that point. So. Well, she's idolizes her. That's her hero. I know, but like she made herself look like her at one point in the in the comic books. And then she like changed back, and she's like, "I won't do that again." I don't remember that. I, I but, swear um, that was in the comic. I swear that was. But anyways, yeah, in the comic, she gets her power through like Cree. Yep. She's a Cree thing, and yeah. then here yeah. it's gonna be something like more cosmic. It looks like in the, in the Avengers game, she was an Inhuman. No. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, so apparently, uh, the, this character is minor enough where they could do whatever they want with her. <laughs> I wouldn't say she's my, she's an up and coming character. I mean, they put her in the yeah, she should really be pretty big. Very I know, but th what I mean is, there's no no established sort of you know rules you for her because people change it up yeah. kind of don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, but it's a good trailer. It looks interesting. Cool. It's funny because it's it's gonna be a coming of age of a, like a teenage girl though. So if you're talking about oh, like boy. turning red, there it like is, that. Jim. Not, might not I, be for you. I will. I I'm can't relate to this. 
I don't. I, I mean, I, I'm not terribly interested in this. Like, honestly, I don't. I'm to the point with superhero stuff where I was before, where because we've had so much of it now, where if I'm not interested in the character specifically, I'm not gonna see. It. Like, I haven't seen Shazam. I haven't seen the Joker because I don't understand the Joker without Batman, and you know, I didn't see Ant Man two, so I don't feel like this is gonna make the cut for me. Yeah, superhero movie is gonna die any day now, right? Any yeah, yeah, right. Day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, lastly, we've got the digital entertainment money. The glo- the box their box office the uh, the uh, earnings from them is triple the global box office. Uh, I think now I'm, we'll probably get attacked a billion times from the box office fanboys, but I think. That thanks to well, not thanks to, uh, because of COVID and experiencing these movies at home, like the Batman, I'm sorry, is going to be much nicer to watch at home right now because I'm like, pause it, bathroom break, get back to the movie. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I love that, and it, yeah. as long as you have a larger screen TV, which a lot of people have a larger screen TV now, 65 inches are pretty much they're pretty common for households. Yeah, um, they're affordable these days. You know, compared yeah, to yeah, so. Years ago. I, I don't see it being a problem, yeah. and I think that it's that's not. the trend. And we talked not, about and, this being and, a trend. Right, and I posted this because this is finally the first time, we, at least to my knowledge, we have actual hard numbers and data to, to prove it because, uh, you know, there are people that are in love with movie theaters, and I, I get it. It's an experience. It's history, the, whatever you want to call yeah. it. But, but, and I wouldn't say it was thanks to COVID. I would say COVID accelerated it, and we even talked about it yeah. at the beginning, uh, or, you know, yeah. of, of COVID when we're like, well, how's this going to shape, you know, and it's like, oh, we're like, oh, maybe a year, you know, and it's like, year three, guys. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're all way off mark with that, but uh, COVID definitely accelerated it, and it's just one of those things that technology was going there in the first place, and anytime you make something convenient, uh, convenience will <laughs> most likely beat everything else, like, People don't That's like American way, man. Right, it is. I mean, you look at it like, like I, so I'll, I'll point to to circa two thousand. You know, where people were pirating music left and right. We had Napster, we had you know, um, LimeWire, all this other sharing service where you could literally just pirate, you know, MP3s and and because it was the easiest thing to do because they didn't have another option. And you look at Apple uh, and how they were like, hey, you know, iTunes Store, ninety nine cents per album, blah blah blah. And then over the years, people just accepted that because it was easier to just click buy for a dollar than mm-hmm. than it was to pirate. Exactly, you know? exactly, exactly. Right. Exactly. So I think I think COVID 100%. just helped accelerate technology to the point where it's like, okay, hold on, let me think about this. Do I really want to go see a movie in a movie theater where first of all it's going to cost around thirteen plus dollars for a regular ticket? Not to mention if you're you know uh, on a Dolby or IMAX or whatever screen you're looking at you know three four dollar extra charge. Uh, you want popcorn, you want soda, you know, you're bringing a date or, you know, God forbid kids with you and stuff like that. You're looking at a 50, 60, 70 dollar one night, three hour experience. It's like war, you know, movie theaters could charge you what uh, the highest price was what Disney, the Disney premiere. What was it? $35 or 30 30, 30 bucks. I think $30 or something like that. Yeah. Like who's not going to take that option where you could just make your own snacks at home, drink your own thing. You don't have to worry about wrangling your kids to not other yeah. people it's it just someone's gotta go pee you don't miss the movie you pause it yeah you know exactly. I mean? it's just, that, well, that feature by itself is great but this whole thing is covid and it's also content like there's been what two three move big movies that have been theater exclusive in the last like two or three years and meanwhile we have a deluge of streaming options at home now yeah so i mean i and but you know spider-man and now batman shows that Yes, people still want to go to the movie theaters, and they're coming back, and they're ready to come back. So I, I don't know if there's anything. Back. I don't I know if just... this is anything other than just COVID, really, and how the last couple of years have been because of it. Maybe, you know? but I feel like this is a great. I mean, I, everybody I've talked to uh, that has seen the Batman or wants to see it is like, I'm just gonna wait for that to come out. I just I think it's a better experience at home to watch that movie. Yeah. A lot of people I've talked to. They're gonna miss out though. That movie needs to be seen. Sure. Yeah, I don't disagree with you on that, but. Um, so you're but saying that either, that, that this would have came, this would have opened, this would have done better than like a hundred thirty million dollar opening like five years ago. You think? Oh yeah, yeah. I think before before all this, yeah, it would have done even stronger. <clears throat> I think a lot of people held off because of the length of it, and it's just 
They don't you think it's that and not the that there's still some COVID stuff going around? No, I don't think that, I just don't think they care about the movie theater experience with it anymore. They're, they've experienced this stuff at home and they like it. I think people, I, mean, I, mean, I think definitely people Spider-Man proved people were ready out. to go out to the theaters again. They want that experience. No, they I would say, that I, no, 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 that's flawed logic. I think people, that, that only showed that people were willing to go to the movie theater for Spider-Man and that's it. Nothing else. Yeah. No yeah. other movie, but, just but Spider-Man. They, no, but this, I told, like, Batman is a 130 release. Like, before Spider-Man, there was nothing that was even close to that. 80, we were we were proud of Shang-Chi getting 80 million. Sure. Before that. Mm, sure. But the, the bar has changed. Things have changed. It's, it's different I now. I agree this is, Spider-Man this is, is comparable. Not, not, not the... Spider-Man no. is the number one superhero worldwide. Like, that is indisputable. And, yeah, and... Point. And this is comparable, though, to what we would expect from a single Batman movie beforehand. Sure, but yeah. you're, you're saying... I think the two... bar is back to where it was a little but bit. But you're only looking at the top movies. You're not looking at everything else. We just talked about how the there was a disparity between... Num- what was number two box office, Jim? Do you still have it up? Nine million. Nine, Nine million. million. Was, yeah. doesn't, doesn't that happen with every big movie, though? The second that plays, not that big, not, not that big, not that big, not that big. Not that big. Just, just there's certain least, movies, like, certain movies they're getting out to seeing, and the other ones it's like, well, just wait for that to show. This up. is this yeah. has yeah. been, but that's been going on since the superhero movie craze has been happening for, I'm for saying, but years saying and years before this. We're saying it's more magnified than it has ever been, Mike. That's what we're trying to say. It's it, it has been going on. I'm not just I'm not arguing with you on that, but I'm saying it's more than it ever has been. I don't also, think it goes like, back. You wouldn't to have it. Turning Red on Disney Plus right now. You wouldn't have yeah. uh, Encanto. And then they on saw that Disney market Plus. was great for Disney Plus. That's sure, really that's what I mean. The content is there now. Instead, <laughs> it's a matter of where the content is. Yeah. So I don't, I don't understand your point. Like we're just saying, people would rather view things at home and Disney. No, because one of the most that's greedy... where they're released. But they would rather there's, be there. There's right. so much. No, that's in this time period, maybe, but I, I think people still want to go to the movie theater. There are some people that want to go to the movie theater. Yes, sure. obviously. We but had we're a, saying a the thing market that, has shifted. You're saying that it's just because of Spider Spider Man sets records, and it's just because it's Spider Man. It's not the fact that people were itching to go back to the movie theaters yes. and have an event yep. like that. Yep. No. Absolutely. Adam, no. Not no. Absolutely. It's timing. No. No. Okay. It, it's okay. just not true because we we see it there, and then we see again the next big superhero movie does comparable numbers to the time before. Batman, if Batman I, had opened up to look, this one thirty in pre COVID times, we'd be like, okay, no, whatever. Stop. Be like, okay. You can't do it. You can't do. You can't make that statement, Mike. My our our statement, our point, our point is not one movie, the box office in general. Is going to be outperformed by digital streaming because most people want to just stay home to watch those movies. But there the other point that... is because of the way COVID was, everyone shifted all of their stuff, all of their content, also said. to be available said. for streaming. Yes. So because that's, that's where said. it is, and it's the content, of no, course because, it's going to be more. No, because now we're going to be like they're, they're just. I'm going to wait more. There are going to be more people saying I'm going to wait for it to come home and just watch it at home. But they didn't for Spider Man. I'm done. There's nowhere saying. to see it. I... <laughs> And they didn't, and they're not, they didn't necessarily do it for Batman. I'm, I'm talking about the box office, not one movie. The box. Look, look at, look at, look at who. Look at. There hasn't been mid-tier movies in like 15 years. There has not been. There has not been. This true. Look at the box uh, my office. Point, my, my like my point is Mike. There are you. You're 100 percent correct. There are going to be Spider-Mans and there's going to be the Batmans. There's going to be those movies that make people get out and go see it in the theaters. But then for the most part, what we're saying is people are going to wait to see those other movies at home. The rest of the box office is not going to do as good. They haven't That's been, what we're saying. They still haven't been. I don't know what that means. It's That's, just it's not the, coming back. It's not coming back. It wasn't coming back anyway because it had to be a superhero movie to get people to go there. All right, let's move on. Let's... I don't. I, I mean, I don't know. Game cast. Game cast. It's fine. I, I, I understand what you're saying, Mike. I don't think you understand that I'm talking about. Like, I'm not disagreeing with you about people coming out to the theaters. I'm not. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. All right. That's gonna wrap up this episode of the uh, movie. Well, movie cast. Uh, thanks for listening, watching us on Twitch Tuesday nights, eight o'clock starting. Uh, we're gonna go on to the game cast. We have spoilers. Uh, spoiler cast. 
we have bonus rounds. Uh, check those out, please. Uh, we're on YouTube the following day. Uh, mm-hmm. Check those recordings out. We also have audio podcasts on iTunes and Spotify. So we'll see you guys soon. We are done with this one.